Hi guys, so today I am bringing you another digital illustration and it's been a long time since my last one which feels really weird because usually uh, for the past several years I've been doing very well at staying on track as far as producing new artwork and adding to my portfolio and just working on my craft and that's something that I really had to work on and force myself at first to make sure that I was drawing very consistently because a few years back I did have issues with that where I just I couldn't create art for the life of me and it would be these huge like spanses of time where I couldn't get anything done and then I'd produce one and then it would be a long time for the next one. So anyway, so I, I worked really hard to make sure that I was working very consistently on creating new pieces. And it's been about two weeks, I think, since I've actually done a digital illustration. I've done a little bit for Inktober and general sketching, but I didn't do any finished pieces. So it, it feels kind of weird. I'm really very ready to get back into drawing and back into getting these illustrations done. So when I started working on this piece, I think that I was definitely still feeling kind of that like laziness and irresponsibility from the last couple of weeks because I was feeling very unmotivated and very uninspired. I didn't have any ideas of what I wanted to draw and I just, I felt like everything that I was thinking about was just like, it wasn't translating, it wasn't turning into anything and that was kind of really frustrating at first. I had a few, um, dead starts where I started sketching it out and then it just it wasn't working for me it wasn't looking good so I uh, did what I usually do when I have no idea what I want to draw and that's um, I go and I look at other reference that already exists so I look at other artists work and I look at photo reference that already exists and uh, today when I worked on this one I actually ended up looking up a lot of circus pictures and I absolutely love the aesthetic of the circus it's just really beautiful and just rich and kind of this mysterious kind of dark vibe to it so I love circus looks but I haven't really done very many circus images in the past so I was pretty excited about having a theme and having an idea to jump off with this that I was actually really excited about and I don't think I've actually really mentioned this before but the place that I almost always go to first when I'm starting an illustration is actually Pinterest. Um, it actually is really kind of an amazing resource for artists because there's a ton of reference as well as really amazing illustrations and inspiration to work off of. So that's usually where I go when I want some visual ideas for what I want to incorporate into my own drawings and just a good jumping off point as far as uh, inspiration for me and just different images that I want to create so that's really very helpful I have a lot of different uh, pin boards that I just have a ton of different resources that when I'm really feeling like I don't know what to draw I don't know what to work off of I can go and look at that and I can see exactly what I've already decided I really love and it's just inspiring to have a ton of artwork and inspiration drawings that are completely suited for me because I've gone through and I picked them out so if you're kind of looking for a place to find inspiration I would actually really recommend that and I think that I maybe have mentioned this in my last illustration the one with the monsters trick-or-treating but I have been noticing that my inking style is kind of evolving a little bit and it's happening kind of subconsciously I think or not necessarily subconsciously but I wasn't specifically making an effort to change it in this certain way which is usually how I have to make things change in the way that I'm drawing is usually they're not just kind of slight changes that happen from my own experiences and the different things that I'm being inspired by usually it's me noticing that there is something severely lacking in the way that I'm doing something and then really working hard to change that so it's kind of an interesting experience to be able to see that and realize that the way that I'm inking is kind of changing and I really like it I feel like it's evolving into more uh, more of a fine way of doing it um, I've been adding a lot more like grungy details and making things look a little bit dirtier and just giving a little bit more of a hint of a texture and of of a surface there and I'm really enjoying that and being able to add that kind of information through my inking so that's really fun and I'm also incorporating a lot uh, finer lines and really like 
quick flicks of the pen. And uh, for a long time, my work was very, very thick and heavy and it, it was just very sharp and clean. And I still like that. I like the cleanness, I like the sharpness, but this is adding just a little bit more interest to it. And I really like the direction that it's going, so it's kind of fun and I think I'd really like to see where it leads me and where I can change that and progress in my inking style. So this picture, I actually kind of had a strange process for it. Um, I usually like to know exactly what all the elements in the picture is going to look like. So I know what the background looks like and what the characters look like. And that way I can make sure that they're really cohesive and they mesh well together. But this one, I actually, I started with an idea for the background, but then as I was working on it, I realized I wanted to push it further. I wanted to create an actual space instead of just kind of, at the beginning, if you remember, there was a lot of these like circus marquee signs that were just kind of like hanging there and I'm starting to feel a lot more like I want to create actual spaces and environments and worlds that these characters are actually in instead of this more ambiguous look which those signs really they, they didn't really tell of a space there so so I realized that I did want to make a lot better of an environment for her to be in than what I first had thought. So as I worked on her, I was trying to think of uh, a better way to do it and what I wanted to incorporate. And I think now I know what I want to do with it, but when I was done with her, I still wasn't completely sure. So I decided to go ahead and just like ink her, get done with that, and then give myself a, a little bit of like about a day where I can decide and look at it and really think through exactly what the right solution is because that way I can get the absolute best image instead of just one that's a little bit subpar because I rushed through it. So yeah, I, I feel better about that, about the standing of where I'm at with this one and what I want to do with the background. I'm a lot more excited about what I thought about than what I had originally and I think that that's probably something that I could really learn from is really thinking through a lot more options than the first one that I do or the second one that I do and I think that that would really help me create a lot better illustrations from now on so that's another thing that I need to work on is more ideas, more thumbnailing, just more planning. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all my future art videos and I will see you at my next one. Bye!